Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 4th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Happy Independence Day to all my American viewers, and welcome to another video here with Daily Events Worldwide. We're looking here at Null School, upper level winds, top level winds in our southern hemisphere. So this is our southern polar vortex right now, and it has got a strange shape to it. Not quite oblonged, but a triangle. You can see where our magnetic north is, or sorry, our north pole, but there's something being pulled towards South America. And look at the upper level winds right now, strong and concurrent across the equator. Pretty strong system there heading into Africa. These upper level winds are coming in at 435 kilometers per hour right now. We've been amped up by solar energy over the past week or so, and as well, of course, the summer solstice. Quick glance at the northern hemisphere versus the southern. We've seen dramatic sunspot numbers for this solar cycle. So magnetic disturbance in the southern hemisphere right now. We've got our north pole and our south pole. But we've also got the tip of South America and as well the tip of Antarctica, which lead right into a subduction zone. So this is all geomagnetic. It's just very strange. I've never seen a triangle shape around the South Pole or the North Pole for that matter. But maybe there's definitely something brewing here at the tip of South America into the South Sandwich Islands. Just recently we saw a sizable 5.2 earthquake there. Give you a quick glance versus last year to today. Last year at this time, it was more oblonged, which is more normal, for say. Northern Hemisphere, yeah, some upper level winds that are a bit stronger than this year. But most notably here, watching the equatorial winds last year versus this year. This is now. Strong upper level easterlies heading across the equator. Something strange is happening with our atmosphere right now. We've been expecting it. We've been talking about it here with daily events worldwide. Space weather creates all our weather. Quick look here at the whole picture. Our world, upper level winds. Lower level winds. You can see our jet streams impacting Argentina, as well Africa, and of course Australia. Southern Hemisphere is ramped up right now. Strong upper level winds cutting across Australian continent. And they've seen many systems move from the northwest straight across the continent, increasing moisture over the past little while. little look here at the northern hemisphere we still have a wonky jet stream in the northern hemisphere as well most of the systems heading up into northern bc and alaska here's a quick look at our sun for the past 48 hours as we've seen some increasing activity and as well a moderate m-class solar flare detected today Stay tuned for tonight's update, give you a full world update on earthquakes, volcanoes, world weather, and space weather. And as well, a view into solar cycle 25, as we may see some, we may see multiple solar flare events like we've seen over the past few days. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the day, today's video. Please Give a share and a like. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. 
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. 